experience of it like? Because it was the first time you'd flown, I think. Yes, it was the first time I'd flown. Um, it was very, well, it was an exciting experience. The country was beautiful. I'd like to go back there. Um, but when I was on the plane, everybody was looking in case I was ill because it was my first time. <laughs> Do you think you'll travel a lot more now by air? Well, I hope so, yes. Yes. And did you find the Arab men compared well with the Welsh? Well, they're all right, but you can't beat the Welsh. <laughs> oh, you'll have many fans for saying that. Carol, thank you. Now time to chat of the English contestants, starting with number 11, Julie Curran. Julie, I know that you enjoy dressmaking, so perhaps you better tell me how you do it, because I don't know. Well, I go around to the local shops and I look for styles I like, and then I go home and copy them. Do you find that easy then? Because, I mean, it is quite a task. Well, at the moment, I find it very easy because the clothes tend to be very loose fitting and they don't have many sort of seams or darts or anything in them. So it makes it a lot easier than what it is if there's darts or seams or anything in them. Good, good <laughs> tips, Julie. Thank you very Thank much. You. Time to say hello to number 12, Karen Moore. You said you were actually working for a green berry with the Royal Marines. What does that mean? Uh, well, last year I had the marvellous opportunity of unearning official green beret, which I now have. It was presented to me two weeks ago, and I'm really honoured to have it. But what did you do to get it? Um, well, I, did, I went all around the country. I also went to Norway, and I did lots of abseiling, um, going with rucksacks on my back, and I did a lot of um, work in the snow in Norway as well. With the Marines? Yes, with the Marines. All Lucky the Marines. Marines. Yes, and congratulations on winning the rally. You, you did very well. Thank you. Well, no 13, of course. Here's number 14, Debbie Greenwood. feature articles for your local newspapers. What do you write about, Debbie? Well, all kinds of things, really. I'm basically an advertising sales rep, which means that they sort of, I get into work on cold, wet days, and they throw me out and say, right, get some space, so I'll death. Um, it takes me into some musing establishments sometimes. But I get to write about things like beauty. For example, if a beauty establishment's taking out a large advert, then I write a feature about it. I bet you sell lots of adverts, too, because you're a pretty girl. Thank you, Debbie, very much. <laughs> Two more for England, here's number 15, Sally Wilde. Sally, how old were you when you started modelling? Three. Three? Yes. What were you doing then? Uh, I used to do television commercials and a lot of modelling, mainly with my brother. My mum used to take us everywhere. Mm. But what about the acting that you enjoy too? Uh, well, I was joined a drama school at the age of 14. I was there for about a year and a half. And, um, that's something you want to continue? Well, it's, yeah, I want to continue because I want to own my own agency and mainly do acting. Well, good luck with that, Sally. Thank you. Well done. And finally, number 16, Jane Simpson. You've achieved a great ambition to have your own model and charm school, Jane. What sort of people come to you for courses? Well, they tend to be actually the range of about 15 to 85, so it's quite a big range, actually. But the majority of girls that tend to come to me want to basically improve their confidence more than anything. So uh, they go through deportment, uh, hairdressing, makeup, all sorts of different things before they actually pass out. <laughs> oh, that's good. You know, they pass out as well. You put them through their paces then. I certainly do, yeah. Jane, thank you very much. Thank you. Winners, all of them. Well, you know, the distance between Agadir and Casablanca is fairly short, but believe it or not, for tonight only, it's even shorter from Brighton to Casablanca. 
You don't believe me? Ladies and gentlemen, please give a very warm welcome to Casablanca. <laughs> Casablanca's latest recording. Now we have the results from the joy. Before we hear them, let's meet the reigning British beauty champions. First of all, Lena Marston, Miss Scotland. <laughs> Miss Wales, Caroline Williams. And the current Miss England and Miss United Kingdom, Della Dolan. Well, now here to present the prize is the managing director of the Wings Holidays Limited, Mr. Peter Drew. And now the man who has all the answers, who's going to put us out of our suspense, the chairman of the judging panel, Eric Morley. It's all yours, Eric. I shall announce the results in reverse order, finishing up with the three winners. The runner-up, to Miss Scotland, second runner-up, number five, Maxine Dunn. <laughs> runner-up, number one, Alison Dunn. Miss Wales, second runner-up, number eight, Suzanne Casey. First runner-up, number six, Christine Cox. Miss 
Miss England, second runner-up, number 11, Julie Curran. First runner-up, number 15, Sally Wilde. And now the winners, Miss Scotland 1983 is... Number four, Linda Renton. Yes, a very, very happy Linda Renton here. Cash prize of £2,000 for her. And Miss Wales, 1983, is... <laughs> Number seven, Leanne Gray. Happy Leanne Gray, of course, £2,000 in cash, work worth over £6,000. It's a heck of a title. And finally, Miss England, 1983, who is... Number 12, Karen Moore. Karen Moore, there's a girl who's happy. Apart from anything else, she's probably looking forward to Miss Universe and Miss United Kingdom. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please now greet Miss England, Miss Wales and Miss Scotland. <laughs> 